Hi guys, Jeff here with Cryptocurrency Investing. So today is the 21st of December and John McAfee has just released the first of his series of coin picks. So what he said yesterday was he was going to start listing day by day one coin that he essentially informs the public about via Twitter. This happened about one and a half hours ago. To cut to the chase, that coin was Electronium. You can buy it on Cryptopia. So what happened the last time John started talking about a coin? It was Verge. Verge was a coin that he specifically mentioned on Twitter. And what happened is Verge went from a market cap of around $150, $120 million all the way up to $2 billion. It was a coin that was worth less than a penny and then ended up being worth currently sitting at 13 cents. It at its peak was 15 cents. So this was an announcement that a lot of people were waiting for as what coin is John McAfee going to talk about because people are anticipating that there is going to be uh, similar gains as to what we saw with Verge or potentially seeing these 13 X gains or more. So, What's the difference between Electronium and Verge? Well, Massive Verge is a, uh, it is essentially a payment option. It is a privacy coin, really fast transactions, uh, phenomenal option, great tech behind the coin. And it started with a really low market cap. Verge started with a market cap of, like I say, around a hundred million dollars, let's say. Uh, Electronium, when John announced the coin, is around $500 million already, half a billion dollar market cap, so already it has less room to the upside just by those metrics, not even comparing the technology behind them. But let's get into that now. What is Electronium? Is this a worthwhile investment? Uh, I don't have the web page up right now, I should have brought it up, but essentially what Electronium is saying is they are a a fully integrated peer-to-peer -peer payment system where you can send and receive cryptocurrency and uh, it's very user-friendly, you need no technical knowledge. So that sounds great. Uh, what I do wanna say is that is already in existence or already being created with other platforms as well. You know, Omi say go, this is a really tangible solution that could solve this problem. So let's go into what their website talks about. If you go onto their website, Electronium, You'll see a lot of hype, a lot of numbers, not a lot of technical details, but uh, let's get into the technical details just to break it apart a little bit to find out what is going on with Electronium. So uh, they talk about a wallet to transfer to send and receive cryptocurrency. They go on to say, uh, Googling for Bitcoin hack or Ethereum hack, you'll find dozens of stories of stolen cryptocurrencies. We've developed an offline wallet that is 100% secure. You can create as many offline wallets as you like for free and transfer the bulk of your Electronium to those wallets. They are literally impossible to hack. Wow. There is so much wrong with that paragraph. It hurts. So obviously we all know Bitcoin or Ethereum, the blockchain itself has never been hacked. So there's sentence one debugged. It's only centralized exchanges, centralized services that have ever been hacked. And then they go on to say, we developed an offline wallet that is 100% secure and is impossible to hack. That already is a statement that you just cannot say with quantum computers coming in. We just don't know what is possible. And actually, if you scroll down on their webpage, you'll see that it actually says, okay, well, wait. Um, if you imagine that all of the grains in the sand in the world are the lottery, uh, you would have to win all of those lotteries all at the same time to hack the system. Those are, that's the likelihood of, uh, of the hack happening. So. But by them saying that, it's not impossible. And they clearly state it's literally impossible to hack. So already there's massive red flags coming up with wording with false promises. Okay, carrying on. You can create as many offline wallets as you like for free and transfer the bulk of your Electronium to those wallets. So what are these magical wallets that they're talking about? What are these impossible to hack wallets which aren't impossible to hack even according to them? So. All they are are paper wallets. And if you're familiar with paper wallets, if you're creating one and putting in your password and you have key logging software, you can be hacked super, super easily. My advice is don't create paper wallets. They are extremely dangerous. And this is their massive solution are essentially paper wallets. So uh, Electronium is dropping the ball big time in the wallet game and that is pretty much half of what they're standing for right now. Okay, so wallets, pretty much the whole thing about wallets, which is I'd say half of their thing, 
total junk, total garbage. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm always happy to be informed. Uh, mining experience, right. So they talk about that electronium, you will be able to mine on your phone. This is what they say. But if you look into their white paper, it says you will be able to do a simulated mining experience. So what does that mean? It means that you actually aren't mining. So you're not doing any work, which is essentially the value behind the coins that you're mining. So there's twofold here. Well, let's say, okay, we're all simulating mining, but then we give this mining value. So even though it's simulated, it still has value because we all agree on it. But if you're not actually doing work, then guess what? It can be hacked. People can run servers on their computer that simulate or emulate essentially hundreds of different, uh, of different phones and just rack up how much simulated mining experience coin that they have and totally like weight the system in their favor. So it is a very hackable system. That's scenario number one. Uh, scenario number two for the mining is that, whoa, I am having a brain, a little brain fog here. That's scenario number one. Maybe it'll come to me. Uh, let's, let me just try to recap my thoughts here. Mining one is that they will have simulated mining experience. Or, or the second one, right, obviously, is that it has no value. So then what's the use of mining anyways? Sorry that it took a little while there. Uh, yeah, so either one scenario is it's you can hack it or it has no value. So their simulated mining experience is completely irrelevant. So that's enough talk about Electronium and what uh, essentially the back end of it. You can look at more. Uh, I just myself had you know not too in-depth of a look, but uh, this is what I saw right on the surface. It was super plain to see. So uh, please do your own due diligence. I'm just here to relay the information as quickly as I can as this is a time pressing event. So, but there are people who like to flip trades. Uh, nothing wrong with that, not my style. So let's talk about that for a second. Where can you do it? You can do it on Cryptopia. It is cryptopia.co.nz. What's the fastest way to do it? Transfer in Litecoin and uh, use Litecoin as a base trading pair. Uh, you don't wanna be using Bitcoin. You're gonna be waiting a long time paying massive fees. So what is the potential upside that we have right now for Electronium? Well, currently we're already at half a billion dollars. That's pretty substantial for something that a lot of people in the cryptocurrency space really believe is a total sham. I'm shocked that John McAfee made this his first coin pick. You know, it blows my mind that even Electronium is where it is right now, like half a billion dollars, whereas you have something like, you know, Walton Chain sitting at, a uh, hundred million dollars less market cap valuation than this and Walton chain is going to be an absolute monster in my opinion so I, I mean if you're going on the pump you know we could see we could see a doubling maybe even a quadruple and maybe it gets to where verge is but in my opinion verge has phenomenal technology even though it's not implemented fully yet uh, it has a lot of potential I do not see that with electronium so anyways that's the summary uh, electronium in my opinion is not a long-term investment However, if you are looking to do a quick swing trade and ride some hype, uh, this is potentially a very good deal. Potentially, I don't do it myself. And uh, But then watch for the rest of his coin calls. And if they're lower in the market cap range, like if they're around where Verge started at $100 million, you're going to see a lot more room to the upside. But uh, currently sitting at $500 million, I just don't see this thing going much higher. Okay, so that's it for me. Hope you guys have a great day and that if you are trading uh, with Electronium, that it is successful. Okay, thanks. See ya.